Our economy continues to struggle to regain the strength we lost from the economic recession that started in 2008. In Detroit, Michigan, a city that was once the wealthiest city in America and the fourth largest in the country has slowly been demolished to the point that we can hardly recognize it. With a population that has declined from 2 million to barely 700,000, Detroit is now the poster child for America's deteriorating economy. Its streets are lined with rows of rundown structures, old apartments, and long abandoned factories and warehouses. Where once stood the manufacturing epicenter and the symbol of the American middle class lies a bankrupt city. In fact, about a third of all of Detroit has been completely abandoned. Recently, the city became so troubled it had to declare bankruptcy and creditors are trying to get what little scraps they can from the money lent to the city. This week it is expected that Detroit will announce new settlements to deal with its two major pension systems. Detroit's alarming decline can be attributed to the crippling effects of the North American Free Trade Agreement, referred to as NAFTA, and the massive flood of foreign cars into the United States. Under NAFTA, manufacturing in America has all but been eliminated. In order to compete, Detroit's automotive companies were forced to lower costs by outsourcing their operations to Mexico. Basically, NAFTA made manufacturing cars in the U.S. too expensive. As a result, Detroit factories closed down and jobs were lost. The hard-won wealth of Detroit disappeared to make room for free trade. America has gone from being the largest manufacturer in the world to becoming a servant economy. The vast majority of jobs used to be in producing goods. Now they are in flipping burgers, cleaning hotel rooms, and working in call centers. Instead of having a strong middle class, we are left being servants to the multinational corporations who only have one objective, more power and more money. Detroit should be a warning to our nation. We cannot persist in pushing the same failed policies that took down Detroit. If these conditions continue, things will only get worse for American cities and Detroit won't be the last to go into bankruptcy. It is essential our leaders in Washington step up and get us out of these dangerous free trade agreements and stop the TPP. If they do not, the disease of urban decay will spread to encompass all of the United States.